Hi, this is Aaron from Command Fusion, and today we're just going to take a quick look at the new way of updating firmware on our hardware through System Commander. So you can see we've got System Commander open. The first thing we're going to do is go online by clicking the offline button, which then changes to online. You can see we have a notification come up in the bottom right hand corner, which tells us that the CF Mini has new firmware available. Uh, if we look over here on the device tree, we can see that the CF Mini and the DIN Mod 4 both have new firmware available by looking at the colored icons next to their names. You can also see once you click on a device that we have on the update firmware tab, there is a little icon which tells us that something must be done here. Uh, but firstly, we're gonna grab the new firmware. So we go to network, check for latest firmware. Now we can see here straight away that we've got two firmwares that are available for us to download. So we are going to click the download missing firmware button, which also tells us how big the firmware is. Wait for that to finish. And it tells us that the firmware has finished downloading. Okay, so that's that done for now. We can also check manually if we want by clicking the check for firmware online button. We can also do some other things like uh, view the release notes and open the folder where the firmware is stored. So, we then go to one of our devices that we want to update the firmware on. Let's choose the CF Mini. So we can see here on our update firmware tab, which is automatically open for me, um, that we have an exclamation icon that tells us that something's got to happen. So we have a look at the firmware. We have our current firmware is 1.10.3, whereas we have the 1.10.5 beta version now available. So we'll click that, hit the start firmware upload. It'll tell us what it's doing here in the upload tasks. We can also have a look down at the log, but all the information we need to know is right here. We also have this status bar going across, telling you at least that something's happening. Now, I wouldn't worry. Pretty much whatever happens here, it's impossible to brick these units. If for some reason it doesn't finish, we can always just start again. So it's just about done. Rebooting device, which is the last process in the task. Now yeah, we'll just wait for it to finish. And there we go, firmware upload complete. So you can see we've got the 1.10.5 beta version installed. We still have the old versions of firmware, should we want to downgrade for some reason. Um, but yeah, we could then go and do it on our other hardware that we have to upgrade firmware on. That's about it for now. For further information, you can see our wiki, which will be linked in the description or you can send us an email via our support page. Thank you.